Hello there. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials, here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Now normally I don't create my videos around a certain time of year. I like them to be timeless. I like for you to be able to use the material pretty much any time. However, given this is around Thanksgiving of 2015, I thought I might look at the concept of giving thanks and maybe look at it from a different perspective. There's a lot of information out there on the value of gratitude and giving thanks, and I think that's all true. What I think we don't recognize, however, is how sometimes how giving thanks or thanking someone can not just affect the past or the present in terms of them feeling good, but the future. I have an experience of this. My son, uh, Nick, is in the BFA acting program at Texas State University and I noticed kind of the challenges about being a student in the arts how you know there's auditions and there's rejection and there's vulnerability and there's getting into the right school and there's a there's a lot of stress around that whole experience and so given that that going around the country talking about stress and anxiety and helping people regain control is kind of what I do I offered to go and give a presentation to the theater department at Texas State and I expected it to go well, you know, I'm pretty confident in my material, I've had always, pretty, always have good responses uh, from people. I was not prepared, however, for the overwhelming amount of enthusiastic response I got from the students, from the faculty. It was amazing. Now, I could probably try to convey that to you, but I thought you might like to hear it from them in their own words. See what you think. Dear Dr. Crawford, thank you so much for coming here to help us rewire the way we think. I was completely surprised by the information you presented and by the personal discoveries this lecture allowed me to explore. It was a wonderful wake-up call and the perfect way to start off the semester. So I think I can speak for most of us when I say this workshop was needed at this time in our lives. For my sake, I needed help. Advice that I could not only understand, but truly connect with and apply in my life. So what did I take from it? It's all a science. Once we can acknowledge that and see past the idea that we cannot change and that this is what has been given to us and there's nothing we can do, then we can learn how to improve. We have a lot of power to influence who we want to be. Dr. Crawford, thank you for your fantastic lecture. I came with no expectations and left with pages of notes. It was eye-opening to learn about the science behind so many relaxation techniques and inspirational quotes. The very next day, in fact, I caught myself stuck in the limbic system and worked my way out. Thanks for the amazing tools. I hope you know that you've changed the lives of many stressed out actors here at Texas State. I heard over and over from my peers that this has been the best masterclass we've ever had. That means a lot considering the big names we've had here. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Dear Dr. Crawford, my mind was blown with your seminar. I honestly could not wait to go home and not get mad at people. One of the most valuable lessons I'm taking away from this experience is the notion of what are you teaching to those you love. To me, that really sums it up. If I'm stressed or upset or frustrated and letting those emotions out in a negative way, I need to stop and ask myself that question. Would I teach this to my loved ones? I need to treat myself with the same respect that I would give to them. Dear Dr. Crawford, you changed my life. That's the simplest and most forward way that I can put it. I have been obsessing for the past few months on concepts relating to your teachings, but I couldn't find a way to articulate what I was thinking and feeling. Your seminar put it perfectly and was so accessible. I have been implementing the four questions in my life every day and figuring out what my higher purpose is and realizing that it is always changing. Nevertheless, thank you so much and I only pray that you come again. I had a mind-blowing experience in the masterclass this past weekend. I kept telling everyone that this is the one voice of stress relief because it is so revolutionary but made so much sense at the same time. Life reaches out to you at the craziest times in the most wonderful ways. For the past few weeks, I've been lost in searching for guidance. When Dr. Crawford came in and talked to us, I felt like he had specifically designed this lecture for my life. Obviously, he had not, but what he had to say, the advice he had to give, was so relevant to my life that it felt personalized. I sat in that room absolutely infatuated with what he had to say and the wisdom he gave us. 
I think that his class is one that should be heard by people everywhere. I feel inspired to change my life, to change my connections, to connect deeper, to let go of things and people causing me pain, and to fully realize the important aspects of my life. I say thank you, thank you, thank you to Dr. Crawford for being patient, wonderful, and inspiring. This class has truly changed my life, and I don't say that often. So, <laughs> I think you can get a sense of how meaningful it was to, to receive something like that. And not just from the students, from, from the faculty as well. Caitlin Hopkins, head of musical theater at Texas State, and Jim Price, head of dramatic writing, were just really impressed with the material, how it affected their kids. And so they kind of went on a mission, said, Bill, we want to make this, we don't want to make this material available to, to all students. So Caitlin sent out an email, and Caitlin is very well connected within the community. And so people started responding, oh yeah, man, our students are having this too. When can Dr. Bill come and talk with us? So as a result of Caitlin's email, as a result of the students' thanks, I've had the pleasure of speaking at the Musical Theater Education Educators Alliance Conference in New York City, at Carnegie Mellon, at Otterbein, at Ryder University, at Ohio Northern, at the Relativity School in LA, at Shenandoah Conservatory, all around the country sharing this information. And another five or six schools now are looking at my material, talking about bringing me in. So that thanks has created a whole new experience for me, a whole new way of sharing my material. I would have just gone and done the presentation and hoped that people got something out of it, but their thanks, their willingness to put down on paper and, and say out loud what they felt about this particular presentation has given me the, the impetus to go on and make this a part of my life. So, by the way, if you have any students in the arts that you think would benefit from this, let me know. I'd be happy to come and do a presentation at your school. Matter of fact, if you have any kids in college, I have now taken the, the book that I wrote, because I took Life from the Top of the Mind, my original book, rewrote it at, called Freeing the Artistic Mind, so that it applied to students in the arts, took that book, rewrote it, and called it, called it College from the Top of the Mind, so if you have any kids in college that you believe could benefit from this material, go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com. Let me know what you're interested in, and I'd be happy to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you giving thanks. Here's to you not only being grateful for what's come before and what you have now, but how this might impact your future and the future of others. Let's take this opportunity to take this concept of giving thanks beyond the holidays into our life and into the lives of others. So here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.